Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the next concept that is uh, how to find the expression for uh, velocity and acceleration. So, till last uh, class, uh, we studied the uh, simple harmonic displacement equation. Then after that, the complex notation for that, that is in exponential form. It will goes on increasing. So, that we studied in last class. So, today, what is the velocity? and what is the expression for uh, acceleration. So that we are going to find out for in case of simple harmonic oscillator. So let so first go for the expression for the velocity. Find out the expression for velocity. So we know that when the particle is oscillating, when the particle is oscillating at the mean position, at the mean position, so at the mean position the displacement will be 0 and the velocity will be maximum. So in this case of a simple harmonic expression for velocity in simple harmonic oscillator, in simple harmonic oscillator. So in this case, what is the expression for the velocity? And next we have to find out what is the acceleration for this case. So that we have to find. So first we know the displacement equation for simple harmonic oscillator. So what is the displacement? Displacement equation for simple harmonic oscillator. So we, uh, we already derived the expression for the uh, simple harmonic oscillator that is a differential equation and solution. So displacement equation for simple harmonic oscillator what we got y is equal to a sin of omega t plus phi. So where a is the amplitude. So at the oscillator is oscillating with this displacement y is equal to a sin of omega t. So, velocity, what is velocity? We know it is the rate of change of displacement. Velocity is, velocity is rate of change of displacement, rate of change of displacement. So, therefore, we have to differentiate this equation. So, equation 1, name it as equation 1. Now differentiate, differentiate equation 1, then what we will get dy by dt is equal to, so with respect to t we have to differentiate, so constant term write it as it is, a is constant, sin of omega t plus phi, the differentiation of sin of omega t plus phi is cos of omega t plus phi. And with respect to t we are differentiating, so that is why write the coefficient of t that is omega into omega. So then, so this is the velocity what we got v is equal to a omega cos of omega t plus phi. So name it has equation 2. Okay. So next, so to find out the velocity expression just we can suppose if we write Again, this equation in terms of angle, then what, how we can write? That is in terms of sine. So, we can write this equation has also V is equal to A omega sine of omega t plus phi plus pi by 2. That means, we know that sine of 90 plus theta is cos theta. So, that just we are writing in terms of sine with the some angle. So, omega t plus phi plus pi by 2, just keep it as it is. So, now if we compare this equation, displacement equation and velocity, then the base difference between the displacement equation and velocity is that is 90 degree. So, to solve this equation, to find out the expression for velocity, just consider that We know that sin square omega t plus phi plus cos square 
omega t plus phi is equal to 1 ok. But we have want in terms of cos so that is why keep this cos square omega t plus phi here and then ok write this in right side that is in orange RHS bring this term to the RHS then what we will get 1 minus sin square of omega t plus phi ok. So, this equation we can be write as cos of omega t plus phi is equal to root of 1 minus sin square of omega t plus phi ok. But what is uh, this sin of omega t plus phi? We know that that from equation 1 from equation 1 sin of omega t plus phi uh, that will give is equal to y by displacement by amplitude. So, now so substituting this in the above equation we get therefore we get cos of omega t plus phi is equal to root of 1 minus y square by a square. So, that is root of a square minus y square divided by a square. So, this we can be write, uh, write as a square minus y square divided by a. Just uh, take this uh, a outside the root then the square and root will get cancelled we get a. So, that is what is cos of omega t plus phi value. Okay. So, now substitute cos of omega t plus phi value in equation 2. So, now by substituting equation 3 by substituting equation 3 in 2 we get v is equal to a omega root of a square minus y square divided by a. So, that a will get cancelled. So, what we got v is equal to so that will give us v is equal to omega root of a square minus y square. So, this is the expression for velocity when the particle is oscillating ok when the particle is at the extreme position. So, then what is the velocity or ok. So, we well, this is the expression for the velocity for a simple harmonic oscillator in general case, but at mean position at mean position. So, we know that the displacement will be 0. So, at that condition what is the velocity. So, at mean position y is uh, velo displacement will be 0 at mean position displacement will be 0. So, then what we got then the velocity will become v is equal to omega root of a square minus 0. So, that we will get so this root square will get cancelled. So, we will get v is equal to a omega. So, this is the velocity will be maximum. So, at the mean position the displacement is 0. So, in that case the velocity will be maximum. So, we what we got v max is equal to a omega. So, at this uh, position the velocity will be a omega in simple harmonic oscillator. Okay. But the general expression for velocity for simple harmonic oscillator v is equal to omega root of a square minus y square. But in the mean position at mean position the velocity will be v is equal to a omega. So, this is the expression for velocity. Next similarly we have to find out the expression for acceleration. So, again consider the displacement equation, but here we have to differentiate twice then we will get the acceleration. Now, find out the similarly find out the expression for the acceleration in case of simple harmonic oscillator. So, just now we find out the what is the 
uh, when the particle is oscillating at the main position, what is the velocity that your uh, velocity will be maximum that is equal to omega. So, next acceleration same similarly consider the displacement equation displacement equation for simple harmonic is y is equal to a sin is equal to a sin of omega t plus phi the velocity the acceleration the acceleration is rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity so that uh, gives so differentiate the once if we differentiate then what we will got we got the velocity that is a omega cos of omega t plus phi so again differentiate this so then what we will get so that is acceleration so this that will gives dv by dt dv by dt is equal to a omega minus cos of cos of omega t plus phi is minus sin of omega t plus phi and with respect to t we are differentiating so then what is the uh, remaining term that is omega right as it is so what we got so that is minus a omega square sin of omega t plus phi is equal to minus a omega square sin of omega t plus phi but from equation 1 what is sin of omega t plus phi from equation 1 sin of omega t plus phi is y by a so that we can write here then next what we get dy from equation 1 from equation 1 so sin of omega t dv by dt is equal to so from equation 1 we get dv by dt is equal to minus a omega square y by a so that a will get cancelled so then what is the acceleration we are getting so that acceleration acceleration is equal to minus omega square y minus omega square y so acceleration so that means the acceleration is uh, negative to the displacement right so we, if we generally writing well if we ignore the negative sign then what we get acceleration is equal to omega square y so if you have so here and this here acceleration we are getting minus a omega square sine of omega t plus phi so then what angle exactly the particle is oscillating the accelerate with the acceleration so that minus sign we can now uh, eliminate that minus sign by that is acceleration what it will gives dv by dt is equal to we can write that equation has so just name this as uh, equation 2 so equation 2 can be written as equation 2 can also be written as equation 2 also can be written as a omega square a omega square sin of omega t plus phi plus phi that is sin of 180 plus theta sin of 180 plus theta is minus sin of omega t plus phi because sin of 180 plus theta that will comes in the third quadrant in third quadrant if the sign is negative then the so minus minus will get cancelled so then what we will get for sin of 180 plus theta that is acceleration is equal to a omega square sin of 180 plus theta so this is also the expression that is uh, in terms of angle with what angle so then what is the phase difference here between the displacement equation and the acceleration so that is 180 degree right so exactly 180 degree phase difference between displacement and acceleration so totally the acceleration will be maximum at this the acceleration is maximum the acceleration is maximum at acceleration is maximum the acceleration is maximum when dv by dt is equal to a omega square sine of 
omega t plus phi plus pi or this way can also acceleration is equal to what we got a omega square. So, this is the expression for acceleration. The particle is uh, oscillating acceleration a omega square. So, the velocity is a omega and the displacement that is uh, if we take only the magnitude then y is equal to a. Okay. So, at mean position y is equal to 0. So, next uh, what is the phase difference? What is the phase relation between displacement, acceleration and velocity? Next is phase relationship between velocity between displacement displacement, velocity and acceleration. So, till now we derived the expression for displacement equation and velocity and the acceleration. So, by using, by writing that we can find out the uh, with what angle the particle is oscillating. So, that is for a displacement equation, we know consider write the displacement equation y is equal to a sin of omega t plus phi. Okay. So, and for velocity v is equal to a omega, a omega cos of omega t plus phi, but in what angle that is uh, the angle that is v is equal to a omega sin of omega t plus phi plus pi by 2. So, what we got that is again I am writing with the angle 90 degree acceleration. So, that what we got acceleration is equal to a omega square sin of omega t plus phi plus pi. Okay. So, now, so this is the displacement equation 1 and velocity expression 2. If we observe this uh, 3 expressions uh, that is displacement, velocity and acceleration, so then we can easily analyze at what angle, at what the what phase difference the particle is oscillating. So, now the phase difference between The phase difference between velocity displacement and velocity that is uh, between displacement and velocity is so the angle is that is pi by 2 that means the velocity is leads the displacement by the velocity leads the displacement. displacement by pi by 2 right so exactly the velocity so, so that is in quadrature we can say because exactly that is in quadrature so uh, that means uh, if the displacement is uh, like this then what is the velocity so, quadrature, so that what its angle it forms that is exactly in quadrature form, 90 degree. So, 90 degree pi by 2, the phase difference between the velocity and displacement is quadrature pi by So, leads, so that means it leads by 90 degree. Then, if you write the displacement lags the acceleration by pi by 2 we can say in that like that also straight the displacement lags the velocity by pi by 2 okay so similarly next term what is the phase difference between 
acceleration and velocity that is the if we compare this uh, the acceleration leads the similarly if we, what is the acceleration we use, the acceleration leads the velocity velocity the, what is the phase difference between the acceleration and velocity so that we can say that velocity by what we got pi minus pi by 2 right so 2 pi minus pi that is pi by 2 we will get so leads by pi by 2. the phase difference between the acceleration and velocity that is pi by 2 so that's why we can say that acceleration leads the velocity by pi by 2 so here if we see the acceleration and the displacement the displacement lacks the acceleration by phase difference pi so here the acceleration leads the velocity by pi by 2 okay that is a phase difference so the, if we compare the phase difference between acceleration and velocity that is by pi by 2 okay so similarly as acceleration and velocity what is the phase difference so that is the displacement lacks here we can say that the displacement lacks the displacement lacks by lacks the acceleration by pi phase by phase difference by phase difference pi so what we got that is pi so this is the phase relationship between the velocity displacement and acceleration so next we have to show this by the graphical representation so now same we are uh, showing graphical representation of displacement velocity and acceleration so again once again consider the three equations sir. so consider expression for ve displacement velocity and acceleration what we got uh, for displacement y is equal to a sin of omega t plus phi and uh, for uh, velocity v is equal to so v is equal to a omega so just uh, that is uh, a sin of omega t plus phi is there plus phi by 2 is there so that is if we consider only the a omega right so if we consider only the take the magnitude so it v mag v is equal to a omega that is a maximum the displacement will be maximum and y is equal to a sin of omega t plus and the velocity will be maximum v max is so similarly acceleration so what is the acceleration acceleration a omega square sin of omega t plus phi plus pi is there right so but so if we consider only take only the magnitude a omega square so similarly in displacement equation if we consider only magnitude is that is only amplitude y is equal to a it will give y is equal to a okay so hence for y at y is equal to 0 at uh, when the displacement will be 0 at the main position then the velocity v is equal to a omega v max and the what is the acceleration the acceleration is also 0 at mean position so when the displacement will be maximum so at the time the amplitude will be y is equal to a and the velocity will be 0 and the what is the acceleration so acceleration is opposite to the displacement in sign so that's why here what will come negative will come right minus a omega square and when the displacement will be in negative so at the time the acceleration will be positive a omega square ok 
okay so when the displacement will be maximum so at that time the velocity will be zero and the when the displacement will be zero at the velocity will be maximum okay so and the displacement and the acceleration magnitude is in opposite that in sign it is in the opposite sign if it is positive then the acceleration will be negative when the displacement is negative the, at the time acceleration will be positive so graphical representation graphically has shown below as shown below how we can represent the the displacement equation will start from the origin when the particle is oscillating with respect to time t at instant of time t. So the displacement that is the amplitude if you represent that is by the amplitude. So this will show and so in negative axis it will represent it by minus a then the velocity so when the displacement will be zero the velocity will be maximum so that's why the graph can be shown So this is the velocity. So, so what it uh, this is the displacement and this is the velocity. And extra the acceleration, the acceleration is opposite to the displacement but in the negative axis. So that we can represent it by uh, opposite to the displacement. So this is the acceleration so velocity what the velocity that is a omega and uh, what is the acceleration that acceleration is a omega square the particle is oscillating at the mean position with the acceleration when the acceleration will be maximum a omega square and uh, when the displacement will be maximum at the time the magnitude is a and when the velocity will be maximum at its magnitude with a omega. So the graphically how we can represent the phase relationship between the velocity acceleration and displacement also. So if you observe here the displacement and the velocity is exactly the phase differences that is pi by 2 it is in quadrature and the displacement and acceleration the phase difference between the displacement and acceleration is 180 degree so right 180 degree displacement displacement and acceleration phase difference is pi and the displacement and velocity that is quadrature pi by 2 exactly pi by 2 so like this graphically we can represent the relationship between the velocity, acceleration and displacement.